Well, hello and welcome to um, the second uh, phase of round four, second round of battles, round four. This evening we will have three battles, uh, one in Juvenu. If you look at the map, it's the top, top one. Uh, it's uh, on the west side of the front, and then we will have one middle battle in Abayadar Dan, Hermanville, Buron. And then at the end of the day, we will have a big 4v4 um, in Khan, Columbell, Levese Woods. So let's see. The first round uh, went to the to the Germans uh, with the, actually the one we're playing now. <clears throat> Juvenu was the Brits' only uh, win. And I'm loading up the game as we speak now. We'll switch from the map view to the live view. And this battle is fought on a very beautiful uh, COH2 realism. Battle of the Bokash map. <coughs> Very nicely done map. And on the um, north of this map, we have uh, Casimir, uh, Dasumo, and uh, Action Villain. I think they've changed their lineup from the last game, actually, uh, where Action Villain started here. So, um, since Casimir is the ghost, he only has uh, defensive doctrine. Seeing this, um, he's only one selected here. Um, so maybe he will go along along this front, which was heavily dominated by the Brits the last time. Uh, then probably Dasumo is going to move up in the middle. He's got joint operations, global defense, and Ostropen. And I think he went with joint operations last time. And this is the action villain. <clears throat> he has assault support, which he used last time. Lightning war and Ostropen. And on the British side facing off here, yeah, Dimmermannen um, was on this exact location the last time and he pushed forward through the woods here, uh, taking this uh, victory point. And in the middle, no change here, uh, we have their ghost, which is US Airborne, Airborne Company. <clears throat> played by Burner, and on the left uh, British flank we have, have a ribster used Royal Artillery last time, so today he can choose between Commando and Mobile Assault. Match will begin in about two minutes. Let's have a look at this beautiful map. It's a small city. Supposed to be, you know, be a bukash, I guess, in the middle. Forested area to the east. And uh, the respective fuel points uh, pretty close to the base. But could possibly be cut off. We saw Action Villain making an attack on this um, flank here the, the last time. <clears throat> Well, 
one minute left. I'll just wash off and get something to drink. <clears throat> well, 10 seconds. Last time, this was a bit of a stomp with the Brits winning in, I think it was 18 minutes, if I'm correct. And we're starting up. My eye's going to be on the Ghost Commanders to begin with. Got Burner moving up with his rear echelons. Just reported pathfinders ready for action. Yeah, let's bring it in the pathfinders straight away. Well, Ribster heading to the left flank, Casimir as the ghost capping up on that side. You see he's he's um, bringing in an Ostroppen squad straight away. Where is that one? Over there. He's going in, helping in the middle it looks like. Did the Zoom are already rushing for the mid VP. Not caring about the strategic points along the way. We're gonna have the first engagement here between the pioneers of Dasumo and the uh, Pathfinders of Burner. Pathfinders though go move in pretty close, letting the pioneers get off some nice shots there. And Dasumo understands this and follows. Lost a man though, but um, Pathfinders lose one. Let's get out of there. That's gotten him enough time to bring up an MG here. And we see the Ostroppen squad fo following up and another MG. <clears throat> and the Pathfinders go into hiding. Now they release. Oh, is it Casimir rushing in and capping this first one? Oh, very early grenades there by um, El Ribster. Dodged by by Casimir, but he has to retreat there because of overwhelming British um, forces bringing up another infantry section and a uh, Bickers. But the Brits have connected their fuel and the Germans have not concentrated on that at all. They got the middle though, but that leaves them without any fuel. I'm gonna ask chat if the sound is okay. Yeah, Dimmerman is um, digging in, in this sector here. Got the uh, rear echelons building a um, fighting position here. Just gonna adjust sound very quickly. And he's upgrading this um, fighting position with the uh, um, heavy machine gun, 50 cal upgrade. And the Sumo does the same thing, or he tries to do at least, uh, on, on his side of the street. See um, a bunker going up, but it's heavily contested and they're focusing on the pioneers. They managed to build that, but they have to retreat the pioneers. There's an MG, two MGs in this pot, and it looks like the INR pathfinders are, go down, and yes, they do. The Germans are. <clears throat> We see, I'm, I'm looking at three MGs in the middle and an Ostroppen squad. Now the 50 cal is up. One of our fighting positions is sustaining fire. 
Yeah, it's like a duel here between the fighting position and the bunker. And the bunker was heavily damaged going up, but it seems like this battle could last for a while. Uh, Germans have not connected their fuel yet. They got um, a machine gun on their um, on their left flank. Yeah, Ribster digging in on uh, the British left flank. VP is in the hand of the of the Germans, but um, well, these rear echelons are in a bad position. They keep hurling rifle grenades. At this one, yeah, it's a, it's a bloody battle. New fresh uh, uh, group of Pathfinders move in to finish off the bunker. And this Vickers, uh, no, this MG is actually in range of, of this too. It's taking some fire. It's Action Villains MG. That's the Sumos MG. Looks like this... Uh, could go down here. Overwhelming force attack with a uh, universal carrier up upgraded with the wasp. Uh, takes care of an MG guarding, the, a lone MG guarding that flank and it's probably going to seize that MG. Yep. The left flank lost. Now the Germans only have their <clears throat> the middle, the mid VP. And this bunker is desperately trying to save this bunker, but doesn't look like it's uh, going so well. We have a rear echelon squad with four kills already. Veteran C2. Bunker again by Casimir. He's using his defensive doctrine abilities uh, to the max here, probably. Ribster pulling ahead on the left flank, already upgraded with uh, Brenz on his, and also upgraded the sections, the five-man section. is going to be very tough on that flank. He's dug in. Can't see the Germans um, managing to infiltrate that sector. Has to give up with this bunker, it seems, but uh, we have a lone pioneer laying down an S minefield here. Um... Casimir trying to push in with uh, his Ostropen squad is not does not succeed, and um, El Ribster is pulling ahead on the British left flank. So the drain has been turned. Also. <clears throat> Action Milan is scouting ahead with a lone pioneer squad. Um, Casimir is uh, pulling in with this, but we got, yeah, two MGs here. One stolen MG42, and the Pyro um, University. The MG goes down, but the um, Wasp moves in to take care of these uh, Pioneers. Now it looks like the um, Airborne Doctrine is in effect from Burner. Yeah. He's dropping paratroopers. This is nice. He's dropping it beside the MG. Looks like it's falling correctly. See if everyone survives. Yeah, they do. They move in. Trying to fight close and dirty with this MG. But somehow managed to end up in the arc and get suppressed. Looks like they will go down to this MG. Yep, they're going down. Uh, two, 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 overwhelming the British uh, right flank. He desperately tries to build this uh, bow force emplacement here, but looks like the one of the two, two, twos goes down. <laughs> Lone engineer trying to fix this bow force uh, goes down as well. See if the wicker survives. I don't think he's getting out of there. No, nope. and the bow force is he canceling this one? AEC comes in to save the, the boat force, but yeah, it looks like the 222 is going to go down to the AEC. But there's a pack there engaging the boat force, and the AEC hits a mine. Was that a mine? No. Ah, we got a Faust from the, um, from the Ostropen squad. Very nice. But um, Pyro, 
The Wasp going in here. Is he within the range of that? Yes. Oh, and gets taken out by Action Villains Pack 40. No, nice attack performed by the Germans here. And their left flank is now secure again. Another airborne squad has been pulled down behind enemy lines here and forces the MG to retreat. Ostroppen squad seems to be going down. Another Ostroppen squad from the Sumo. Two Ostroppen squads. They, you know, remember the Ostroppen squads should be in cover to get their full bonus. But the airborne squad retreats. The AEC uh, from El Ribster. Oh, El Ribster was all the way over here uh, helping out with his AEC. Nice teamwork there by the Brits. They're. <clears throat> AC is limping out of there. That area is strewn with weapons. One Vickers and one MG42. The wreckage of the Wasp there. Well. Another AC from Ribster. We see double AECs. This is the second one getting repaired. Nice teamwork there again. Uh, and Piat's up on his Royal Engineers. Uh, the Pathfinders move into the S minefield, lose two guys, it seems. But they're within the capping circle and they are capping away. Brits want to stop this uh, bleed that they're under. Currently at 410, the Germans at 449. At ten, the 10 minute mark, it's, uh, it's a more even battle this time. They capture the inner circle. We see uh, multiple mortars from the um, from the Germans, but we got a uh, five-man Bren section moving in. I don't know if it's double Bren up upgraded. I wouldn't believe that at this point. No, it's only one of them, but that's a really tough section to beat. Mortars are going down, but they're not engaging the. Um, Rifle grenade. Oh, nicely dodged by Ribe there. Very nice. And the section, right, this will get, they get out of the house, trying to get into hard cover. And the airborne, you'll see a joint assault coming in here. Oh, and a grenade by the airborne. Just dodged. We see Ostroppen being used as attack troops here. Not the best situation. And they have to retreat. Some of the minefield is going off now. The mortar fire barraging this area. See, an, a very aggressive forward MG moves into this building here, overlooking uh, the German part of the village. And the bleed is back on the um, on the Germans. You see this infantry section. I don't know if there's any S mines active still in this area. Got four kills already, this section, Veteran C1. But it's not healing itself, though. Airborne pushes away one of the mortars. This bunker has not been upgraded. Otherwise, it could have stopped these, these guys moving in. Seems like the Airborne is uh, looking to take care of the second mortar. This one is uh, belonging to Action Villain. There's MG there, but they're behind the house and the mortar has to get out of there. See another 222 out this time by Action. Oh, was it what is this? Seems like this squad from Ribe was taken down by the um, by the Flamer squad. I missed that. Oh, we see a centaur out here from um, um, Dimmerman, and he pushes back. Let's see. It's taking some damage. It's going to eat the Faust. And now uh, Action Villain is turning his um, pack around. This is going to be a close one. Focusing on the pack, and he takes it out. He takes it out. He's got a, a few pixels of health left and tries to get out of there, destroying as you go. Maybe one single, uh, the Ostroppen are recruiting the pack, looking to shoot this one. 
He misses! That was a nice one. Moves in to get... Oh, and at extreme long range pro sight provided by the Ostroppen, it gets taken out. And Demon Manon has to retreat. Valiant assault by the Brits. Pushed back. Seems like uh, one of the AEC went down. I heard the sound before, but he moves both of the AECs into this confined area. Heavy fighting in this revenge taken up on the uh, pioneers because we can see their Flammenwerfer drop there. And he escapes with a pack 40. Oh, that's a win. Definite win for, for the ones. Could miss this battle, but it's probably... Um, and he moves in aggressively with one of these AECs contesting the mortar down here. But a Puma, nemesis of the AEC, takes it out. And it's abandoned. This could be recruited by the... Oh. Um, strike that. Mortar shell lands on top of that one and takes it out. Piat armed sappers going in, see if they pick up some of these weapons. Yeah, they do. They pick up the Bren, but I don't think they can pick up this one, the Flammenwerfer. Another paratrooper squad seems to be going down. I think that was a paratrooper squad. Let's see. No, it's a um, 50 cal heavy machine gun drop. Probably dropped over here by, yeah, this is a little nice um, uh, beacon area where they can reinforce from. Nicely done, nicely done. This strong point is not being contested. The INR Pathfinders are moving in. Pathfinders moving in. It's not INR. The Pathfinders move straight into the this MG42 here. You also see um, Teller Mine from Brasumo on this path here. Yeah, this is a much nicer battle than, than last time. The um, Command Bunker and uh, um, Med Bunker laid down by Casimir here. Looks like the Pathfinders are going, going to go down, left to die here in the fields. We have another centaur going in, but we know that Dasumo has planted teller mines, at least one there. Sneaky mine by the road. Aggressive MG moves in to capture, but gets flanked by the by Casimir's uh, pioneers. And we see this is probably the first big medium tank from El Ribster moving up on the left flank. He's also mining up that part. Nicely done. MG retreats. We see the um, MG moved up by Burner to guard this uh, mid VP. And the Germans have gotten their mortars to work again. They're not being. This could come. Yeah, he retreats. We got this hero paratrooper squads with 15 kills. What was this doing here? The anti-tank gun? I don't know what... Didn't see what happened there, but yeah. Let's watch these guys for a minute. The heroes. Probably gonna recrew this one, yep. Ooh, look at this minefield here. Teller mines by Action Billet. <laughs> yes, yeah, some of them have been rebuilt. Could have been spotted by the... Um, this area is very hard to get through with tanks unless you have some sweepers. Both force up. Uh, Dimmermannen is securing this area. Yeah, some hero Ostroppen move in to... Um, Contest the mid VP but gets suppressed by the machine gun. This fighting position is um, 
is really um, thanks, Arcadius. Yep, mortars are going to work. Seeing zero kills on this one. Two kills on that one, but as we know, yeah. yeah. Oh, what is this? Probably gonna land here in the middle. Yep, a Panzerwerfer barrage by, I would guess, Dasumo. No, that's action villain, actually. Hmm? Well, maybe the Cromwell spotted this and is going in for the kill. Yep. Nicely done by Ribster. Can't see this turning out pretty good for this Panzerwerfer. And boom, it goes down. Boom, uh, severely out of position. Cromwell sticks around, really cocky play by El Ribster, takes the first shot on the Puma there, double Pumas, could pay dearly for this, uh, for sticking around, he uses smoke to get out of there, nice, but then he has some pathing issues and turns around the rear armor, if we just sort of, there's probably this tree or something blocking it. Hero paratroopers move in. Oh, they're just one man left. I hope they get away from there. I'd like, love to see Hero, you know. He goes down to the Ostruppen. But he might get away with... Um, no, the mortar also gets decrewed. That was uh, horrendous for the paratrooper ghost. Terrible. Yeah, those guys. They were veteran C2. Moving up to veteran C3. We have lost an MGT. Yep. Uh, we see Dimmermannen pulling up on the right flank. Seems like the pack was out of position. He's made this flank fall, but the double Puma is going to make short work of the Centaur. But he misses! Could he manage to... No, then another shot connects. I think only one more is needed. There it goes. I see a little strong point here of the Germans, but they're very low health. Pathfinder move into this area, get taken out by the mortar and combined MG42 fire. Don't know if this is a fresh Vickers or if he recruit something else, but um, uh, he's getting flanked by Casimir's pioneer squads with flamers though. And this pack is taking position inside the bunker there. Big group of Ostroppen from um, uh, from Dasuma moves in. Yeah, triple cap on the Germans now. They're down to 270 against 410. Now these Pumas, they can't pull in here because uh, well, they're contesting this one, but uh, Bofors is... Um, Making this hard for them. Looks like one of them goes down. Is going to go down, and yes, it does. Big blob of Ostrop and gets super flanked by one Tommy squad and the machine, the U.S. machine gun. They should get out of there. Sticks around for the cap, but I'm not sure any of those guys are getting out of there alive. Yeah, one squad goes down. One guy makes it back, but there's another squad on the retreat path. Seems to be moving out of there, though. Not taking that kill. See, um... Strug 3... Assault gun moving in. The call in from Casimir in his defensive doctrines. Let's see what he does with that. Action villain is retaking the um, German left VP. Looked like the um, this um, bunker got no. I mean the um, mortar bunker got taken down. Rear echelons retaking the mid VP. 
big attack now. Two Cromwells rolling down the street. There's no Telemines on this flank. He moves in. Well, runs over the Ostropen. Spots the Strug. Moves in among the trees here. He's gonna repack. Takes a Faust. A double Faust, actually. Gets standing there. But this one will probably be able to flank. Fierce battle. Very... Uh, very aggressive play here. The Strugausfrung Panzer is... Um, his uh, HE gun is not uh, suitable to take on tanks, so... Gotta say that this is... Um, and the, pan the Pumas are pretty slow to react against this threat. And I don't know if uh, the Puma can take two Cromwells firing at it. Hero Puma, though, still beating it out. And Smoke here making it hard to... Ooh! Some one of the one of the Cromwells get taken out, and the other one has um, used his ability, this um, um, vehicle crew repair. So it's just standing here in the smoke, repairing. Action villains to um, grenadier squads is, is moving into the middle, but we see that this uh, fighting position has been rebuilt. Looks like Action Villains committing to this push. Cromwell's trying to get out of there. Could possibly go go out of there. Get out of there. A oh, nice attack. Vet reach Veterancy. One nine kills already. And now now the area gets barraged by the Panzer Werfers. Nice. He's popping the crew repairs again. And also getting repaired by the rear echelons. Grenade going in on the MG. Probably going to take it out. Been left in the building to die. And there it goes. Counterattacking on the British right flank. Dimmermannen pushes in with Vickers and uh, six pounder support. We got a fresh Strug out from uh, Casimir. Hero MG42 goes down. Ripster moves in with his Cromwell again. Takes a shot from the Puma. Returns fire. But the Puma's pretty good at this distance. Got a higher accuracy. Bounces that shot though. Cromwell is committing. He's moving in. Probably could take a Faust here. He's trying to sacrifice his Cromwell to get the Puma. Oh, nice! He does a... It, it, he pops a smoke shot. Smoke canister shot. But I'm not sure this hero Cromwell is going to get out of there. Ah, uh, there it goes. There it goes. But the British push on the right flank seemed to be successful. Totally annihilating a bunch of machine guns and a pack here. And uh, they're trying to dig in. See um, some artillery from the Brits barraging this area. It's Ribster's uh, mobile assault. Doc Doctrine is probably one of the land mattresses. There's nothing there though. And um, Dasum is moving up his Panzer for to barrage the British uh, eastern positions, probably. There it goes. Barraging the mid VP here. Taking some damage. One infantry section goes down to one man. But these Brits are moving into. Destroy these bunkers. The Germans are down to 100 VP. The match has lasted much longer than the last game. 20, 28 minutes this time. We see Burner doing his rocket strafe. We got the planes coming in. Enemy threatening a capture point. 
Um, action Villar has brought out his broom bar. Germans desperately try to retake their left VP. Oh, Panzerwerfer spotted by the Ribster's advancing sections. Ribster also has a stolen pack 40 going in. We see the rocket strafe uh, uh, making life really hard for the yeah. With the help of the Americans, the um, the Brits seem to be pushing through hard in Juvenil. Brumbar going down to this. Um, no, pulls out. Plane goes in again. Nice. And they get out of there. That must be either the last strafe. Planes. You see the whole town smoking from this. Desperate assault goes in. Two MGs are getting pushed. Three MGs are getting pushed in. And the American forces led by the Pathfinders and the Hero Rear Echelons. How many kills do they have? Seven kills on the rears. Also supported by a mortar. Paratroopers trying to get into this uh, right VP, but that's not gonna work. A lot of dropped weapons here in the middle. I'm glad the rear Reclons got out of there alive. First big tank out by the Germans, uh, uh, Panzer IV by Dasumo. They should have needed this tank like 10 minutes ago. Stug gets called in by Action Villain, who probably be used against this Churchill here. Yeah, the uh, Pathfinders escape with uh, with an MG42, it looks like. The, this one is moving up very close to the front, though. Is Ribster getting a little bit too cocky here? Yeah, he's pulling it, like, in front of the Panzer IV. Comet tank out. Oh, and um, um, anti-tank grenade by the Sappers. I don't no, he he knows he's setting. I don't think he knows he's setting up in a in the middle of a teller minefield here, though. Barraging this area. Paratroopers trying to take the fuel, going down. Comet is pushing in. Oh, look at this. We got some infiltration commandos going in behind enemy lines here. This is um, the Germans' um, last minute of the game, I think. They're calling down artillery on this house. There it goes in. And boom. That game is done. Well played, 32 minutes this time, much uh, longer game than, than the last time, but um, yeah, um, the Brits ruled on this map, there wasn't any, and yeah, you can see Dimmerman has two Churchills at the end, very nice little skin there, um, much roar, Cyclops, very nice, and we see even more paratroopers going down on this city, on this Beautiful map that well that good probably gonna be the last we see of this map because That rounds up Juvenu. There's not gonna. It's not gonna be a third battle on this um, On this map uh, The victory is in the hands of the allied uh, Let's have a quick look at the stats So we have that uh, Yeah, the sumo performed best but on the German side, and uh, yeah, GG, um, and Casimir pretty decent score for for a ghost, but uh, he was beaten by the uh, by the uh, Allied ghost commander with Burner, who manages to score 122 units killed. So in spite of being the ghost, he killed most units.
in the whole battle. Quite impressive. Followed by El Ribster for 93. El Ribster uh, was tailing Dasumo in points uh, damage dealt. Yep, GG, nice fight. Um, more even than the last one, but still a pretty secure win for the Allied forces. Uh, thank you very much. That uh, leaves the Juvenir sector in Allied hands, and uh, you can at least, uh, you, you know, the operation perch where the the Allied forces were supposed to swing in on the British right flank. Uh, is succeeding as it seems uh, but um, let's see if um, our other two battles uh, go the allied way this evening we have two more uh, starting in about 15 20 minutes we will do the mid vp battle and uh, hope to see you soon bye